And we're back. This is Alex Leach with CG Magazine. We're back playing the dire, the direly adorable adventure game, Long Live the Queen. And it's been a little while since uh, the last since the uh, last time I recorded this, so if I forget a few things, that's why. Um, we're going to see how long we go into, before our slightly vindictive princess ends up dying. So let's see how this works out. We're going to load game. Dating ourselves a little bit. All right, here we are, and we're not in a good mood, and we're little militaristic. This is going to be much more fun. So let's take a look here. Now I can't remember exactly where we were, so this is going to be a learning experience for all of us. Let's upgrade. Let me see. Let's see if we can upgrade our magic. Oh, we can. Good. Alright, let's uh, upgrade Sense Magic, and let's go. Always want that magical power. Just gotta be the most powerful being ever. Okay, so... We're well on our way. Now, I remember we started a little late in this one, because there was no way I could figure out how to get into that, uh, get into that treasury, so... We'll see how we can actually make use of it. Earl of Titan. So what, he is an army of skinless cannibals? Oh, we gotta make decisions now. It's almost as if we have responsibility. Yep, he will not uh, reach his 15th in a few years, so we have to take over. Oh yeah, because she's gonna be such a great caregiver. We know nothing of history, so we're pretty out of our league here. Intrigue, always fun. So we're going to figure out... So we got to make this decision and figure out the best way to do this without actually getting ourselves killed, which we've managed to avoid so far, for not for lack of trying, and, well, we're going to probably get, make someone angry here. Yeah, because, you know, this is going to work. Hmm. So, we have our options. We have to... We can leave him with his... I think it was his mother. We can leave him with his grandfather. We can marry him. Which, you know, is always a good way to, to do it. And uh, we can send... Or we can send him to his uncle. Now, there would be other options if I actually bothered to pay attention in intrigue school. But I didn't, so... Say Livy. Let's... Hmm. Ah, whatever. Let's leave it with his... Let's leave it with his mother. Stepmother. Dad doesn't even argue. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need to drop that anger. Alright, and now we are willful. We're a little better mooded, we're not quite as angry. So we can check our skills, it tells us up here. Intrigue, military, and lumen abilities. All stuff we actually want, and we were really close to having our internal affairs high enough, which is kind of annoying. So, let's keep ourselves powerful. Alright, we're getting magic. I'm gonna switch back to intrigue. See how this works. A little bit of flavor text up here, telling us all the different stuff about our kingdom. Let's see. Hmm. Nice little information there. Uh, lots of creepy little noble decadence. Probably gonna. Yeah, we got nothing more to learn. All right. Let's see if we can push this on. Hmm, a musician. Yeah, exactly. And they don't even give a picture for her, which is kind of an annoying element of this game. They don't actually give us enough uh, faces to place with the characters unless they're actually speaking, and unless they're certain important people, they don't give us even a face, and it's kind of annoying, actually, because 
you don't, because it, it doesn't even give faces to some people who have names, and it just becomes tedious to keep track of who's doing what, and for a game with this much intrigue, that's kind of important. Alright. Okay, so we apparently know some stuff, so we can know that she's probably going to be a secret agent. Okay. Yeah, sure. She's probably not going to kill us. the castle a little bit. Alright. Check our skills again. Let's get to some good events here. Alright, let's uh, do some more magic. Okay, we're learning a bit of our power now. Oh, the nobles don't like what we're doing. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we're making the nobles mad. That's a good sign. Alright, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's just send assassins to, uh, end her. We'll see how that- we'll hope that works out. I'm gonna send out- I'm gonna send Deadpool to do his thing. Make some white tracks and chop her up. And see how that works. magic. Make ourselves a little more powerful. And we have unlocked a new outfit. Hmm. People next door to us are blowing up their production. Yeah, build more warships. Always more warships. <laughs> yeah, everything has turned out better. Pretty people have taken over, and the people who want to kill you are dead. All in a day's work. Let's uh, check the treasury, see what it's like. 8,743 gold lassie and 41 silver to lassie. That's good. Alright, let's uh, keep drawing this. This is gonna get weird uh, whenever it's the war actually starts. I'm a little disappointed that we haven't actually died yet. Alright, so we've learned a little bit more. Hmm. Someone else is d getting greedy. Alright, let's, uh. Yeah, let's send emergency aid. We're not gonna kill. That's our job. And, uh, let's keep going. Like, this is a really simple game, I forget what the program is actually called for it, but it's basically just a visual novel game, and I find it actually is fairly well structured for that. Um, lots of uh, decisions you can make, lots of little things you can do. Let's, uh, let's keep powering ourselves up and see what happens. Alright, so we can actually start throwing fire at people, which is nice. We can actually t tell what we're doing, which is always good. And now, all right, we've received some letters. Hmm. More childhood friends. We're a little busy running the realm right now, so let's not get bothered by that. Hmm. And uh, someone else's turn is coming of age. Let's just go to the party. We'll see how that works out. Alright. We've got plenty of troops. And we built some troops. Ooh. We're not doing exactly as well as we wanted to. Like, I didn't really want to be pressurized. I kind of wanted to keep what I had. Oh well. It's the vagrancies of the game. Let's just keep learning magic, see if that'll work. Alright, and we'll keep going with this. Keep powering ourselves up. Learning how to resist great magic. Well, who didn't see that coming? Ow. Looks 
like, oh man, this is not going well, we just got shot. And we don't know anything about battlefield medicine, so... Oh. Well, that was quick. Now... Alright, looks like we're finally dead. It took a little longer than I expected for, uh... Sort of a long term... Like a game I haven't come back to in a while. Now, if I remember correctly, the easiest way to actually handle that is not to even get involved in the event. It's either to skip it, or... There is actually a way to head off the event earlier in the uh, story. You'll notice that some early parts in the playthrough, through I had uh, various people, various friends of mine at certain parties that I could talk to, where the checks would just show up saying failed, 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 and it would just say nothing. Every once in a while, when you have a certain skill, you'll just get a little bit of information. Something cool will come up, and it will randomly cause these kind of events to disappear in future playthroughs. You kind of have to play through it a few times to actually do it. I actually really enjoyed playing this game. It doesn't take too long to play through. It's like an hour at most for each playthrough. But um, it actually has a lot of replay value. And you can there's still stuff I haven't found in it. Still kind of cool stuff. And it's a fun little game. Uh, to, it's a fun little game to have. So I guess I'm done here. I guess I'm going to log off and possibly come back uh, to the come back to this at a later date. Um, please, did you guys uh, watch this? I'm Alex Leach with CG Magazine, and you guys have a, a great day.